Hi everybody, welcome to our time of communion together this evening. It's really great to uh, to see you and uh, just pray that you'll be blessed. As you know, we're, we, we've taken the decision just for the time being not to do communion in our uh, morning services because of the whole face masks and uh, the other complications of, uh, of, of handling that with... Um, with the COVID-19 issues. So um, we've decided instead to uh, just take a, a very short time, as we are right now, every Sunday evening at six o'clock, just to share communion together on a live stream. So um, that's really great. I would like to uh, read to you um, from Philippians chapter two. He says, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him or elevated him, it actually says here, to the highest to the place of highest honour, and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. It's an amazing thing to know that Jesus was God that he was exalted, that he was in the highest place from the very beginning, but he gave that all up for us. And he died for us to give us new life, which is what we remember as we take communion together, but that he's back in that place or in, 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 in a new and greater way, he's back in that place. Um, now with the name Jesus, his earthly name, the highest name of all. It's an incredible thing to, to celebrate and to remember as we share communion together uh, this evening. So let's do that. Let's take the time to do that. Because Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he broke it, he said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Let's share this together now, shall we? In the same way afterwards, he took the cup and when he blessed it, he said, take and drink. This is my blood, which is shed in agreement with you. Let's share it together. Fantastic. It's an amazing thing that we can join together and share communion like that and remember all that Jesus has done for us and remember the, uh, the verses that I quoted, kind of quoted there, go on to say that as we do that, we proclaim Jesus' death until the time that he returns again, when the whole world will see him in the power and the, and the authority that we described that he is in right now. Let's uh, have Steve come and share a song with us now that talks all about that. Above all
and thought of me above all, above all powers, above all Amen. Thank you, Steve. Let's pray together, shall we? Father, we thank you so much for the death that Jesus um, went through for us upon the cross. We thank you that he was exalted to the highest place, that he was uh, enthroned even before he came to earth, but that now again he is enthroned and he really is above all powers, above all authorities, and that's what makes the, the power of what he did for us work all the more. And we praise you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us. You have a great evening and uh, pray that you'll know God uh, blessing you. That would be um, wonderful. And of course, he does do that. He blesses us all the time. Take care. God bless.